Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up a Mix Minus on your TriCaster TC1. Now a Mix Minus, if you don't know, is a concept involving being able to route audio back to a, a remote caller or to somebody else in the studio so they can hear their entire production without hearing their own voice in say their earpiece or over the monitors to cause feedback or echo, etc. So it can be a bit distracting and so we're going to find a way to route that audio back to the uh, speaker or remote caller without having to hear their own voice. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in our TriCaster TC1 interface and I'm going to keep this a very simple tutorial today just to get the concept across. So uh, first thing I want you to notice is at the bottom of our screen you'll see that I have my input number one is the only channel that has audio right now and that's coming from my voice on my microphone. And if we look over on the right that you'll see that that same level is echoed on uh, auxiliary one, two, three, and master. So what we want to do now is introduce another audio source. So I'm going to play this clip in my DDR which is just these kids having fun on their bumper cars. So now you'll see that in DDR1 I have some audio coming through and if I stay quiet for example take a look at auxiliary 1, 2, 3 and master. Now we can see that those levels from DDR are being played over into those. So now let's say what I want to do is route this audio back to myself and but all I want to hear is the DDR and not my own voice so it might not be uh, distracting me during my uh, presentation. So uh, what we're going to do is set up a mix minus so we want to be able to record everything at the same time so we're going to leave master alone but what we're going to do is change the auxiliary one uh, outputs on there. So the way we do that is I'll go over into input number one essentially what we're going to do is eliminate the uh, channel that we want to send back to our talent. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and in my routing section of my uh, audio configuration here we're going to go and unclick all four channels of audio that are going to auxiliary one. So now we're going to still have those four channels of audio going to master auxiliary two and three and if you notice over here in the corner that auxiliary two, three and master can still hear my voice but the auxiliary one is only providing DDR audio. So this is how you can route that audio signal back to say an, an earpiece for example. So we would take the physical output on auxiliary one of our TriCaster, either send that to a mixer or to a headphone distribution amp and then send that back to our caller. So as you can see this is a powerful way to route audio without getting any external hardware involved. So if you like this tutorial but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo and I'll show you a personalized demonstration of our TC1 systems. Until then, thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.